Uh, hi, welcome to the second part of the Witty Library installation uh, procedure. Uh, so just to recap what we did in part one, we extracted the Witty Library into a folder. We ran the Boost Pro Setup uh, program, which downloaded a whole bunch of libraries. Uh, and then we, we installed a CMake uh, open source make utility. Okay, so in this second part, what we're going to do is we're going to run CMake, configure CMake, and then run the example program or run the, the hello program of Witty in Visual C. Okay, so first thing is you run the CMake from your start menu. Okay, it'll come up something like this. Okay, so where is the source code? Well, you put in the folder where you install your witty. So this is where I put mine. And then where to build the binaries? Just uh, put exactly the same thing as before, but as above it. Just add a build folder. Actually, it doesn't matter where you put it, but anyway, this is the recommended practice. Uh, next you click configure. Okay, so here you got to choose the particular compiler that you have. So in my case it's Visual Studio 9 2008. So that's fine. Click finish. And off it goes here. It's actually testing Visual Studio 9 2008 whether it works or not. So there you go. It worked. And then it goes ahead doing whatever it needs to do. Now is going to fail because we haven't told it where the the boost library is located so that's what we're going to do next so click OK here find this boost prefix okay and then uh, choose a folder of where you install the boost version so this is where I've installed mine and then additionally, you need to go scroll down a little further, and then until you find this WT no boost random. Okay, so unclick it. Uh, this is the recommendation for uh, boost of version 1.45 or later. Okay. Okay, so now I think that's about it. So just click on configure configure again. Now what you'll get is configuring done at the bottom but still three red flags here you just don't care right now just generate okay done down here it says generating done so next thing you do is you open up your your uh, visual C++ 2008 okay this is mine you want to locate the uh, Visual C++ 2008 solution f for WT. So we just, I'm just going to open that. Open project and solution. So it is, uh, if you look at here, this is where mine is under G. So, and then there's a build folder here. You open that. And then you'll find a WT.SLN. That's the solution. So you open that. And you should get a whole list of. Uh, example programs uh, written for Witty. Okay, so there's a lot of very interesting stuff here that that uh, you should be able to go through uh, one at a time. So for for this one, I'm just going to try out the hello dot uh, hello dot wt project. So first off, I need to set it as the default project. This one, yeah. Right click and then set a startup project that's one next thing I need to do is I need to change the uh, parameter so I just basically right click on that go all the way down to properties and then go to debugging and then for command arguments this is what you need to type okay this is what you need to type hyphen hyphen HTTP dash address and so on so I'm just uh, 
Now, all this, of course, comes from the WT Wiki page. Okay. Now, as you run other examples, uh, the only thing you need to change here is probably the deploy path. Instead of hello, it will be some other name uh, appropriate for that particular example. If I would just, you know, for example, I just like for example here, I there's a there's a project called Media Player, for example. So what I could have done is what I can do for the command arguments. I change hello to media player. Okay, so for now it's hello, so I'll just keep it that. Okay, I'll click OK. Okay, so now next thing to do is just to uh, run it. Now, if you've run it for the first time, what it's going to do is actually compile everything. Uh, it'll take some time, yeah. But when it's done, uh, assuming uh, there are no libraries missing or any other errors, you'll you'll open up a, a command window. Now, basically, what this means is that the the built-in uh, web server is now running at the local host uh, port 8080. Okay, so just to show you that this is actually running so I have a just open up a browser okay so this is my browser you just have to type here localhost colon 8080 slash hello and there you go this is not a program running so Read me. There you go. Okay, so uh, that is the Hello World Witty program. So, happy trying.